you remember the first time you jumped into a game of Fortnite? How about the first time you watched Ash and Pikachu jump onto a television screen? Maybe you just jumped into your first Pokemon game ready to take on a whole new world. Either way, every experience had the same effect. A feeling of excitement, wonder, and joy. Well, until you have your first death to that sweaty soccer skin. But either way, this got us at Pro Guides thinking, the only similarity between Fortnite and Pokemon can't be how much every sweaty player reminds us of Zubat. In fact, a lot of Fortnite players and streamers have a lot in common with some of the classic 150, so we put something together. Everyone may have their favorite Pokemon, but the most popular Pokemon of all is undeniable. Who's that Pokemon? Who is it? Yes, it's none other than the adorable electric mouse, Pikachu. Pikachu? This stubborn and determined Pokemon has been featured on over 150 trading cards since its debut, and has his face plastered on even more merch and plush than you can count. You can't think about Pokemon without Pikachu coming to mind. So who's the Fortnite equivalent of Pikachu? Whether you like him or not, Ninja is the face of Fortnite, and to a larger audience, the face of gaming. With almost 14 million Twitch followers and over 400,000 video views, Ninja is one of the most popular streamers of all time. In just one stream with Drake, Ninja helped Fortnite reach mainstream audiences worldwide, generating headlines and reactions from everyone, not just people who play video games. Plus, Ninja recently announced a new toy line, so he'll have his face all over GameStop and Hot Topic, just like his buddy, Pikachu. Despite being one of the strongest ghost Pokemon, there's one thing that Gengar is known for, being a massive troll. Gengar plays tricks on humans and Pokemon alike, making funny faces and doing weird dances just to get a few laughs. Not that Ash was ever too amused. Especially when Gengar hit him with some rolled up paper. Who can forget that one? So which Fortnite Pro is closest to this fun-loving trickster? Yep, that was an easy choice. 72 hours is probably, well, no, definitely Fortnite's biggest troll. The guy just knows how to have fun. Sure, he has his bad days, but at his heart, Tom is just happy to play video games on stream for his fans. The list of 72-hour clips are almost too long to mention. Remember him dying to a flying stream sniper? The hell? What? What the? How about his door collapsing? Oh my god! We can't forget about him and Chap jumping into each other either. Listen, you, you come any more aggressive at me, Chap? I'm kicking you from the program. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no, I will kick you from the pro program. That is true, you f***ing gatekeeper. Get outside of my f***ing gate. <laughs> you probably do have a gate, you rich <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I have multiple gates. I'm pretty sure you do have a gate. I saw your house. Yeah, for a f dog, not an army. <laughs> but just like Gengar, 72 Hours isn't just popular for his great sense of humor. This man slaps. 72 Hours aim is unreal. I mean, just look at these shots. He's an animal with the AK and almost never misses a pump. A worthy choice for one of the strongest ghost Pokemon out there. Okay, let's move on to a bit more of a serious player. Alakazam is well known in the Pokemon world for its intelligence. With an IQ exceeding 5,000, Alakazam is easily able to dominate every fight he's in with brain power alone. This Pokemon's psychic abilities always leave him one step ahead of his opponents, patiently waiting for the right moment to strike. 
So who is known for being one of the smartest players in Fortnite? Everyone in the scene, and I mean everyone, points to Ghost Bizzle as one of the smartest players in competitive Fortnite. He's often praised for his intelligence when it comes to rotations. This guy just doesn't make a mistake. Just like Alakazam, he seems to have a photographic memory. Ghost Bizzle will go for a kill when the time is right, but he always seems to be alive in professional late game situations. No surprise here, Bizzle in a wonderful position to potentially take this game. Not many materials left. Three of them so far. A quick little tack of the player above. No materials. He's got to drop on down. He's looking for the way to take as little fall damage as possible. He's made it to the low ground. He's skating around. Shot comes in. A limb for Bizzle. Turns on the player above. That's it. He diggled the floor. He hand cannoned the floor. Are you and the kidding me? Drops. Bizzle with the victory. I think he's saying too. The man is a machine, all he does is place in tournaments and earn fat paychecks. Now on for a Pokemon that focuses on speed. Pidgeot brings back some real OG vibes. Everyone caught their first Pidgey and painfully leveled one up until it finally evolved into that flying menace, Pidgeot. In the anime, Pidgeot was always backing up Ash with some well-fought battles, but Pidgeot stood out the most for one thing, Speed. The huge bird can fly at double the speed of sound, more than 1,500 miles per hour. Seems pretty legit. So who earns the spot of the fastest Pokemon in the land? Well, there's only one young stud that comes to mind, Mongrel. You can often find yourself watching his stream and not entirely knowing what's going on because he's building so fast. Mongrel is the fastest player in the world. He's a living highlight reel. The 14-year-old prodigy's mechanics are insane. He really makes you wonder just how good a player can be. Even if his building fails him, he can still shoot with the best of them as well. Mongrel is on the forefront in the next wave of Fortnite Pros. If you want to learn how to build as fast as Mongrel, then go to ProGuides.com where we offer an actual course with Mongrel. On ProGuides.com, he'll teach you how to earn those victory royales. Now let's move on to a Pokemon who is a bit more wholesome. Aw, are you hungry too, Togepi? <laughs> Squirtle. Squirtle. Someone once said that Togepi's shell is stuffed with happiness, and that it shares this happiness with kind-hearted people. If that's not the most wholesome thing, I don't know what is. Togepi is a fun-loving creature that is always releasing positive energy. But even though Togepi seems totally innocent, it can still pack a punch. Remember that random metronome? So what Fortnite Pro brings Togepi flashbacks? Washes his hands. <laughs> Tries his hands. Go, goes for another chip. Yep. <laughs> Vibing, dude. Tim, if you're out there, don't take this too hard. It's all in good fun. Togepi just makes way too much sense. I mean, think about it. Tim the Tapman may not be getting carried around in Misty's arms anytime soon, but this guy is always bringing his stream followers fun, loving content. You can watch him eat a ton of food, talk about his beard. No matter what, he's always full of laughter and positivity. But this jolly dude is not to be trifled with. Okay, okay, I'll back up. If the dude doesn't die to fall damage, he should not be trifled with. Now let's move on to a more legendary Pokemon. Man, I still remember the first time I saw Mewtwo. I was eight. He talked on that massive movie screen and I felt like anything was possible. Mewtwo is probably the most legendary Pokemon ever. Nobody should ever mess with this psychic monster. He was born through genetic manipulation, said to have been created to have the most savage heart among all Pokemon. Using his psychic abilities, Mewtwo is always ready to defeat anyone who steps up to him. So is there a Fortnite Pro Legendary enough to match Mewtwo? 
If there is any mythical creature in Fortnite, it has to be Tifu. The FaZe Clan legend exploded onto the scene and is widely considered one of the best, if not the best, Fortnite player in the world. Just like Mewtwo, Tifu can seemingly do it all. He builds with the best of them, always looking for that sweet ultimate high ground. He can also tango in any box, with shooting resembling an aimbot. Maybe most importantly, Tifu makes correct decisions over the course of any game. It's impossible to survive in the late game of all these tournaments without intelligent rotations. Tifu is also one of the most popular streamers out there, and there's really no other choice for Mewtwo. So there you have it guys, these are the Fortnite pros that make up some of the original Pokemon that come to mind for us. From Gengar's trolling antics to Alakazam's 200 IQ plays, Pokemon really are like some of your favorite pro Fortnite streamers. We hope you guys enjoyed this trip down memory lane, and if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment, and let us know whether you agree or disagree with the verdicts. Also, if you guys haven't checked out ProGuides.com, please check it out. We get you guys better at Fortnite. We have all the best tips and tricks to building and winning. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and we hope you still have your holographic first edition in Charizards.